very first episode of Health to Glow. I'm Holly. And I'm Melissa. And this, as I said, is a normal episode and we're here today, today to talk about something that's in the media a lot at the moment and that is sugar. Yes. or the lack thereof in our lives. Yes. So it's really important that you try and cut out sugar in all areas of your life. So we are going to um, make two of Sarah Wilson's I Quit Sugar recipes. They are amazing. Delicious. The well, first one we're going to do is her grain-free power bars. So another another thing that we want to just, we want to try and get rid of all the sugar in all of the food that we eat. It's highly toxic and pretty much makes me feel like crap. You'll get those energy fluctuations, and if you don't have sugar, you're not going to get those massive drops in, 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 in energy. Um, yep. More importantly, what we've brought here today is sugar-free ideas that are on the go. They're transportable. They're for when you're going to be out all day. You're not going to have good food options. Um, so it's just showing you how easy it is to be busy, which is natural nowadays, and still eat really good food, okay? So busyness is not an excuse, and we're here no to show excuses. you how. No excuses. No excuses. We're going to show you how to make yeah. it so easy and portable, like Holly said. So the first thing we're going to do is make the grain-free power bars. And they, oh, my God, you only dirty one, one appliance. One, one, That is what it's all about. It's about simplicity, one thing, <laughs> that's it. So the first thing that we pop in is three-quarters of a cup of desiccated coconut. Whap it in, easy as. Now we've got two and a half cups of activated nuts. And you can do any nuts you like. Yeah, I think the book said almonds, but look, in the spirit of Sarah, we've just done whatever, whatever's going. Whatever we had today in the kitchen, and that's what it's about, making use of whatever you've got. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't have nuts, like if you've got cacao nibs left over, whatever. Or seeds or seeds. whatever. Um, so then we've got a cup of almond meal Yum. straight in. Oh, oh, get it all. I know. It's, oh, can I borrow this? Yeah, Thanks. <laughs> get it all out. And then um, we've got a quarter of a cup of melted coconut oil. Mm. So it's so much easier to use when it's melted, um, especially in winter right now. It goes really it's hard. <laughs> and you can't, yeah, so you just need to run it under some hot water and um, voila. So whap that straight so in. Yummy. And what have we got here? This is my little plate of spices. Yum. So we've just got some Celtic sea salt, yep. some cinnamon, ginger, stevia, mm -hmm. and vanilla bean powder. Yum. Now, you don't have to use stevia if you don't want to. You yep. could use honey or you could use um, organic maple syrup mm -hmm. or organic raw honey. Mm -hmm. um, but I like sweet things. Even though we're quitting sugar, stevia is the best sweetener that you could use. So you literally just pop all them in and nice. voila <laughs> that is seriously how easy it is like only dirtying one thing and, and so what Mel's going to do now is she's just going to press them into the baking dish and while she's doing that we're going to show you some we prepared earlier so what we've done as i said it's about being on the go it's about being organized without having to you know run a muck around the kitchen every every day so what we've done here is we've just put them in a little transportable little goodie bag all i can say is if i was a little kid and i got that in my lunchbox i'd be pretty stoked how cute is it and i love I, it can i tell you i'm not very like i'm not a domestic goddess so to do this was very easy so these are some we prepared earlier and they're just so gorgeous and they're just little bars if you can see them they're yummy um, and, and they're delicious like so um, you can add a little bit of um, baking soda and you can bake these but we're going to do the non-bake version which Sarah has in her book and you literally just press um, press it all in you can use your hands or you can use a wooden spoon. You so would usually use your hands. I totally would, but I'm like, like being polite. I'm trying to be really mm. nice and polite and proper. <laughs> um, but I'd get my hands in there and get it all, get amongst it. You yeah. know, put the love into the food. You can get the kids to do this one. Get a bit of aggression out. Exactly. The and then that goes where? In the fridge. Cool. For at least an hour, and then literally you cut them up, and they turn into yummy bars like this. So um, you go. Mmm. Really good. So that. <laughs> really good, Rufa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm, mmm. It's really good, eh? Mm. 
So there you have it. So easy. Reminds me of an Anzac biscuit. Yeah. Mm. Really good, sugar free, mm. grain free, energy power bars. Give them a go. Mm. So, what are you making over here? Well, I'm stuffing my face. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Good. Keep an egg. Oh, pop it in your mouth. Ah, okay, so what we've got here, we made these the night before. And look, I love doing this. I reuse my old jam jars. I don't mm -hmm. know if you did. Oh, this is a coconut oil jar. But it's what a great way to recycle something. And it's so easy and transportable. and. That's not going to leak in your bag. Look at that. And again, if I was a kid, I would love to whip that out at school or wherever you are. Mm. Even yep. at work, at your desk. How cute is it? It makes, yeah. it, makes it fun. It makes it pleasurable to eat. Mm. So these, as I said, these are our chia. They're cashew chia puddings. Mm -hmm. And they're so easy to make. The night before, this is what you do. You get your half a cup of chia seeds. Whack them in. Your almond milk. So what chia seeds are going to do, they're going to absorb all this milk. So at the beginning it'll look like a, a soup, but overnight it, the chia seeds gel up and it becomes kind of like a panna cotta. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. They absorb like half their weight in um, water. Water, which is <laughs> scary. So then there's the berries, as I said, any berries you want. Could you use, yeah, raspberries. Totally, totally, Yum. totally. Or even like, if you're not a big fan of fruit, I don't know, if you just want to add, add some nuts. It's kind of like a, 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 a birch and muesli as well. Yeah. So you add what you want. So in here I've got a little bit of Celtic sea salt, a little bit of the stevia, and then the vanilla bean powder. And once again, if you want some cinnamon, whack it in there. Guys, Delish. And then that's honestly it. It's kind of embarrassing how easy that is. So that's what you do. You just stir that together. And as I said, it looks kind of like a, a really unusual type of soup. Um, yum. Yum. Um, <laughs> but as I said, what you're going to see, the end result is you set that in, you funnel, funnel that into your little jam jar. And they overnight, they just turn solid. And that's good to go. Yum. Yum. Should we try it? I'm already done. Let's so do the question. it's all about simplicity, a couple of ingredients, no sugar, and easy, portable. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So it's like jelly, and it's yeah. so yummy. And the kids love this sort of mm. stuff. Like, they get so excited. They're like, mm. oh, wow. But that's what it's all about. It's about being really simple with, like, four or five ingredients, not messing 10 different dishes it's all about one dish and um health you know not not overloading on the sugar yeah so look as i said there's no excuses eating on the run you can still do it yeah so bon appetit <laughs> oh my god mm -mm. Paul, this is amazing